They rattle homes, they keep homeowners awake, and they pass by nonstop. So tonight, Fort Worth City Council is on track to silence trains at 10 of the loudest intersections in the city. But relief, it is still months away, and our Joel Thomas is live at Tierney Road in East Fort Worth. Yeah, and it's not unusual in a city that's one of the busiest rail hubs in the U.S. to have a rail line like this one right next to homes like these. But there's one thing in particular here that keeps people awake at night. It wakes you up. And then you'd be trying to talk on the phone or watch TV. You can't because by being so loud. Train noise is a given when you live next to a railroad track, but the horns are a conversation stopper. The train to be so loud to my head, just hold on, I can't hear you. Just wait till the train passes, then we can continue our conversation. Joyce Sanders lives next to one of the train intersections. Fort Worth is trying to make a quiet zone. The intersections are owned by Union Pacific, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, and the TRE. It's literally a problem that stretches across the city on some of the nation's busiest rail lines. Yes, they need to be eliminated, at least some of it, because they run regular. So, you know, you got, seems like you got trains coming through there every 15, 20 minutes or so. But the horns are required by law to warn drivers of an oncoming train. So before the horns can be silenced, intersections would have to be made safer. They'd have to add extra crossbars and a curb in the middle of the street, and they would have to deal with a train load of bureaucracy. That's because it will take the train companies to, or the rail companies rather, to put up the crossbars. The cities have to work on the streets, and a federal agency has to come in and inspect everything before they can silence the horns. And before all that happens, it could be late fall. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.